Zen inspired me to begin writing down my rhymes. Usually I just keep them in my mind, confined in a prison of thoughts swirling through the sands of time. Enough of that, let's begin the vernacular that may be spectacular if I can flow these words right into your eardrum and make you feel dumb. I don't want to entertain you. I don't want to enslave you. I just want to raise you to be the king and queen of your reality. Or is it reality being sold on the idea of materialism, sweating the small stuff like it really matters? The matter is a matter of fact, what is holding down our consciousness, weighing us down and keeping us all grounded, chasing our tails without ever seeing it. Doesn't even really matter. You can be free, just open your mind. Stop looking at the same sands of time. Take back your choice and choose to be you. And you will see there is no one like you. Most seem to want to keep you stuck like a pinwheel, spinning on one point in constant whirl. But only by an outside force, of course, does it ever begin to swirl. It is like reliving the same dream in your mind over and over and over. It all seems so different, but it really isn't. Going through the sands of time, or is it traps of time to hold you down and keep you devoted to who is hot? Watch out, it's a sand trap looking to grab you and suck you down, drain your energy until you're left with nothing or just enough to get home to bed so you can do it all again. You think one would notice, but there is really so much more going on or off, it depends how you're looking at it all. There is so much more to be said about it. But this rhyme is a kickback, so just sit back, take this moment to relax, meditate, and reach your higher conscience. Okay, I'm coming back. After that meditation, there were a few more words sent to me mentally that I need to relay. We can all be whole together, like a pie before you cut it up, to serve it up to everyone that is impatiently waiting the piece of the pie, reaching and grabbing at anything to fill the hole, the void that lies inside us all until we choose to make it whole. To devour and destroy a degree of the whole hurts all of us, not just one, or even just the sum of us. Oh damn, it's so sweet, I think I'll have another. Not even worried about our own mother. The Ma, what does she really want or need from us? Do we know? Have we asked? I don't know, but it seems we're neglecting Ma. Ma or Maya, the illusion we see ourselves in. What if we took the pieces and put them back together? Could we be whole again? Or does someone already eat one? <laughs>